Welcome back everyone, it's HeavenHusa57 here. We are back on Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One, and today I have the guide for you and the walkthrough for Mission 9 Sandcastle. This will be done on realistic difficulty, as you can see right there, realistic. And I'm doing this one solo, so it'll take a little bit longer than if you're doing it co-op. I am level 20, so I recommend that you be level 20 to do this. This particular mission, I'll be using my Draken with uh, thermal, extended mags, fast mags, rapid fire, FMJ, and I will be taking the black cell with Semtex grenades, EMP grenades, repulsive armor, emergency reserve, and danger close, so I take an extra lethal grenade, I we'll since see. I really don't need another primary weapon. Now, the perk of doing this at level 20 is you get use of multi-core, and that allows you to use any of the cybernetic abilities from all three cybernetic cores. So it's definitely recommended that you get level 20 on this. Also, since it's a guide, I will be skipping all skippable cutscenes. However, the beginning cutscene you can't skip. So we just have to put up with it for a minute. She was frightened. She didn't know what was happening to her. I saw the human test subjects from the Black Project in Singapore. Something inside them screamed out in agony. It caused the whole disaster. It killed so many people. Relax. Breathe. It was buried for years, but Taylor's team... They won't get up. It's inside them. I think it's taking them somewhere. Stay with me. Where is Taylor going? He's still looking for the frozen forest. Now, this mission is, in my opinion, one of the easier missions to do on realistic difficulty because a lot of the mission is in a vehicle. While it is a fighter jet, it's still a vehicle. So, it definitely uh, makes life a lot easier for this. There's a few things that you got to watch out for. And, uh, like I said, I'm doing it solo, so it's going to take a little bit longer than if you're doing it co-op. Uh, if you do it co-op, it can go by a lot faster, but then again, you've got to find people to do it co-op with. Um, unrealistic, it does seem to take a little bit longer to actually acquire a target lock on these fighter jets. And there is several accolades for this mission that all revolve around shooting uh, down fighter jets or... Uh, the other ASPs and stuff that you have to deal with using only your guns, not using any rockets. But since this is unrealistic, we will be using rockets just to make it go by a little bit faster. I was close. Watch out for that flak. And pretty much you actually don't fly the fighter jet, so you don't really have to worry about that. All you have to do is make sure that you get your target lock for the missiles. And then, you know, use your guns if you want to bring them down even faster. So as long as you know how to lead your target, you're fine. And then you have to deal with all of these guys, which you have like these ASPs to deal with. You can use your rockets against them. There's an accolade for not using rockets against them, but... Personally, I find it to be of literally no point right now because I'm already level 20, so I don't really need the extra accolades, the extra fabrication kits because I have everything that I want. But uh, if you don't have that already, then yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and try and get these accolades. Uh, do try and avoid the missiles that they shoot at you because, yeah, they'll, they'll do a lot of damage to you. Now for one of the harder parts of this mission, go ahead and it is an infinite spawn, but try and remove as many of these enemy as possible while you have this dialogue going on. And basically it's going to tell you to land and give you the little prompt to land. So what I do is clear out as many of those guys as possible and then you want to land very quickly because there is a wraith that shoots you down if you uh, stay in the air too long. So keep that in mind. 
Uh, make sure you use your repulsive armor. As you've seen, I went to active camouflage almost immediately. Uh, still got shot, which is very annoying, and I'm kind of stuck here in the corner, so not quite sure how well this is going to go off the bat. Uh, it does happen quite a bit that you'll get shot. I like to come in here just to get a little bit of cover, which is what I was trying to do before that guy shot me in the back. Worst case, we'll have a, a restart. So I'm going to get my active back. That's an airship. That's that wraith that's trying to shoot me. And once I have my active camouflage, I can literally just run in here and run past that ammo crate and we're gonna get our active camouflage back a second time before running up. So what I'll do is go ahead and throw my Semtex grenades out the window to try and eliminate a couple enemies and resupply with ammo from that crate. Uh, it's best to take this mission as slow as possible, so take the amount of time that you need and then activate your active camouflage. We'll run up here and there is a rocket launcher up here if you don't have a rocket launcher. You don't need it though. Because I'm going to run back down here. This will take some time. And take a little bit of cover. And uh, then of course have my active camouflage. Now the reason why they give you that rocket launcher is to shoot down these VTOLs. Which there is a accolade for shooting down all the VTOLs. Uh, you don't have to do it, it's not required, uh, but it makes it a little bit easier. And, well, I'm all for easy. Somehow that grenade almost came in here. So I'm gonna just throw Semtex grenades all over the outside. And that's basically just what we're doing. We're hiding. There's another VTOL that comes in and we're going to try and shoot it down so it doesn't get to deploy all those ship those uh troops there and throw an emp grenade i'll see about even hitting that uh that bastard out there that wraith just to make it a little bit more of a fair fight for me and get rid of as many enemies by throwing semtex grenades at them as well as EMP grenades to kind of distract them. And then basically it's a mad dash. You cloak and just make a run for it. And your cloak should last long enough to get you to the fighter jet. And that's how you get out of that section. Super simple, not hard to do at all. Then you have another segment that you have to go through and you have to destroy more of these ASPs. You also have two Wraith that you have to destroy. Do keep an eye on your health because they can shoot you down at this point. So you want to do this relatively quickly. Uh, there's one more but I cannot acquire a target lock on him because of the other enemy that I actually can't shoot down. So I could potentially get killed here. Might still happen. I'm taking a lot of damage. I gotta get away from that wraith. See, it wants to give you a lock on the wraith, but because it's not one of the ones that you're meant to kill, it takes a ton of damage to actually kill it. And really nothing that you can do there because there's sometimes a couple enemies that spawn most of the time they spawn and well you can't see them uh usually enemies up top there make sure you reactivate and yeah there was one on the left so it's gonna put me back in the in the plane which is okay i don't have my active camouflage recharged yet uh so yeah that that happens it does happen that you take a bullet from one of these guys before you can get into cover and it's kind of hard to to do it without taking a bullet uh that was a bullet from a plane so yeah 
Thank you, random plane that shot me. Uh, it's just a matter of getting to cover. Once, once I have my active camouflage and I get to cover, we're set. It's because your cybernetic cores don't recharge while you're in the plane. So basically, whatever percentage your cybernetic core was at when you got in the plane is the percentage that you have usable. And that's what makes it so hard to do this section um, at the moment. Now you see I used that EMP grenade just to make it a little easier. Go ahead and use active camouflage and you can run past some of this stuff. Keep an eye on how much active camouflage you actually have. And then we're gonna crouch down here. And you'll see my repulsive armor knocks the stuff away. Uh, but it didn't knock that grenade away quite far enough. So I still was downed by its blast, which is really annoying. Go back to the tactical mode. Um, throw a couple EMP grenades and several Semtex grenades. And I'll get ammo from that mobile armory. Go ahead and access the panel. And then we're going to literally just lay down here. Rely on repulsive armor to knock the grenades far enough away from you that they won't kill you. Stand up if you need to and use your active camouflage to go ahead and throw Semtex grenades as well as EMP grenades to buy yourself time. And then make sure you grab ammo. Good job watching my back. Let's get and we're just done. waiting basically. And they'll be uh, coming in from there. You can destroy that VTOL, but I don't uh, possess the required things now. So I'll go ahead and I'll throw a couple. Oh man, I got hit by a rocket. Wow, that's depressing. It, it's going to take an attempt or two to do this. It's not like, you know, something that's going to be. Just, hey, I got it, you know, first try. Um, especially once they start sending in the drones. Almost done gonna hide waiting for my active camouflage to recharge possibly use semtex and EMP grenades just to clear out the area a bit because it's gonna be a mad dash here in a second active camouflage it up and run your active camouflage should hold long enough. Sometimes it doesn't, though. So, yeah, we're going to have to do that again because my active camouflage didn't hold. Wow, it put me back here with no active camouflage. Okay, thank you, game. That was a bit of a screw up there. The game uh, didn't give me my active camouflage back. And kind of everything that could go wrong at the moment is. So, yeah. This is uh, taking a little longer than it needs to. This time I'm actually going to use my active camouflage to kill off enemies. And then wait for it to recharge again. There should be a drone around here too, so be careful of that.
Yep, there's the drone. Got him. Okay, so... These guys I'll run past if I can get out of there. Active camouflage now should hold long enough to get to the fighter plane. So, took an attempt. Took two attempts to do. Didn't take that much extra time. And then we fly over here and land. Which in a way is good because I can let my uh, active camouflage core recharge. And you have a little scripted scene here. Not really a cut scene, but it's unskippable. Listen only to the sound of my voice. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. This is still part of that whole little scripted thing that uh, Stay with me. you can't skip or anything. <laughs> Why? Why were my systems shutting down? I checked your diagnostics. You're showing the same symptoms as Hendrix. Probably the same as Taylor's team. <sighs> symptoms of what? I think the AI software running the Black Project made the leap to organic. Your DNI was the gateway. It was born inside the test subjects and now it lives inside all of you, slowly taking control, slowly driving you insane. How slowly? Maybe days, maybe hours. It seems to be a distributed system, a hive mind. At least you can skip at that point. Re-engage the tactical uh, mode on your DNI and yeah, yeah. I got that same feeling. Keep it next tight. thing we'll be fighting is robotics so your EMP grenades will really Ready come in weapons. handy here you gotta wait for Kane to reach this door and she just walks really slowly so just part of a delay that they made so that you take longer at completing the missions on me Taylor and Moretti, they knew we were coming. All right, you have to go now. so you. I'm gonna make sure I, I back up, get my oxygen up again. Kane's just like swimming there doing jumping jacks. Well, my EMP grenade got them. And my emergency reserves gave me that nice free revive there. Bad news is I have very low oxygen. Luckily, you don't have very far to go. That's probably the worst section of the entire mission here. Just that room, because you literally are trapped there with the water and you can't use your cybernetic cores and, you know, you can't, you just get shot from, like, everywhere. Other than that, the mission's kind of easy. There's going to be one more part that's going to be slightly challenging, but we should be able to get it without too much difficulty. We've got additional NRC aircraft inbound. We need to keep them off the platform. Copy that. We're on our way. But first, we do have a little bit more flying. It's like half the mission is done flying. That makes it really easy. We'll have about another three to four fighters that we have to shoot down here depending on how quickly you actually shoot them down. 
And it's going to take another missile. Yep, there we go. And that's that one. I have visual on three bogeys, changing vector one zero three echo. Another one that we have to shoot down. Watch that ground fire. They're relatively easy to shoot down. Hendrix, what's your sit rep? Khalil's men are being overrun near the control room. We might lose Taylor. Now we have to defend Khalil's men, which is really easy to do. It's literally just a matter of take out the two rocket ASPs and then kind of just strafe the right and left sides. You can use your rockets and just your regular guns are more than strong enough to take out these guys. And there you go, you know. You gotta wait for a specific part of the scripted dialogue, and then uh, you can move on to the next section. And that's this part that you're waiting for, the transmission incoming. And it is skippable, so we're going to skip it. It saves about 30, 30, 40 seconds, something like that. Now you can come through and kind of weaken the enemy forces at this point. Um, you're not going to be able to take them all out because it's an infinite spawn and they want you to land and have to do this fight. But you can actually make it at least easier on yourself. Now you have to defend this area. Every time you get out of the fighter jet, you have to re-engage your tactical mode on your HUD. So do keep that in mind. And it is a defend sequence against almost a infinite spawn. So we're only going to pop up when I have my active camouflage, which sadly takes a little while to recharge. It's actually one of the, the slower recharge perks, sadly. And there's literally a foot, a blown off foot right there. That's uh, kind of gruesome. And then I'll try and make a little bit more room and you start to push forward, which causes the enemies to fall back a bit and a VTOL to come in that drops off more troops, but my rocket launcher is not gonna uh, lock on to that, so we won't worry about shooting it down. You can shoot it down, it's just my rocket launcher is being a douche and won't work. All right, cloak, move up. Thin them out as best as possible. It's an infinite spawn, but you know what? We need to have a limited number of them that we have to deal with because it's going to be a mad dash in approximately two more cloaks. And you also have those drones that you have to worry about. Now, the drones are not quite as accurate as the infantry are. So I'm gonna remove them for now. And just gonna take a look back behind me real quick and see if there's anybody up on the upper ledge. And there's one guy up there, but that's not too much of a problem. So I'll move up to this marker. You're basically just going cover to cover. Move up to this area right here and then cloak. And if you do it right, we should be able to just 
go to this point and yeah it's scripted from here so it's one of those really really good things uh, bad news is there are a lot of enemy right here that all wish to kill you so it might take a try or two to get through that room so yeah just just keep that in mind it's not the easiest thing to get through that that breach area totally doable just takes time wow i blew his leg off holy crap And we're going to use that ammo resupply crate. Now you'll notice that I'm going through this area slow because there are plenty of enemies that spawn and they're one hit kills. While it says move faster, you don't have to really be worried about like running through it because there's no time limit on this. And they give you another ammo box. So we'll top off on ammo there. Now we get into a little bit of a, a harder area. So another spot that we're going to need our active camouflage for. Because there's enemies on the upper walkway and on the lower walkway. And you can't shoot through the lower walkway. But the l enemies on the lower walkway can shoot through it and hit you. As you just seen that happen to me for literally like no reason. It's just, it's something that's stupid. So we'll use our active camouflage and hopefully dodge the bullets that are being fired at Hendrix there. And then while we still have active camouflage, take out the guards that spawn on those stairs. Usually there's two, sometimes there's three. I'm taking it slow because I want my active camouflage to recharge. There we go. Active camouflage is ready. Then you get to this part, which is basically a scripted fight cutscene. We're going to skip it though because there's no point. Uh, uh, never have problems with this section until now. You gotta be kidding me. That is getting ridiculous. He's never done that before. Alright, well, definitely gonna need my active camouflage again. So, got my active camouflage back, which means go ahead and wreck house on those guys there's a lot of them so make sure you take cover we'll overload the generator soon enough it's gonna take tries to complete this this area the fact that he can target you while you're cloaked makes it a little broken actually more than a little broken kind of makes it a lot broken you know me. You can trust me. You get your head down. so we'll take out badass, that generator Please, wait make sure nothing else spawns Go over here and get that ammo crate. I wish Hendrix wouldn't quite follow me so closely because I it's making me too much of a target here. <sighs> Fuck. You get your head down. 
bitch. You may be a fucking badass, but you're not immortal. Please, I give you my word that you will be treated fairly. Like, there's there's certain sections of this game that are broken. And that's one of them. Bullet to the head will still get you a date with your maker. Kinda wish Hendrix would actually shoot at something. Sadly, you can't destroy that. And that grenade's in a very bad spot. Cloak. Go ahead and I'm going to use a rocket just to take out more of those guys in one shot. Man, lots of grenades. That's why we use repulsive armor, because they love their grenades. Take out the enemies on the upper area because they have a better vantage point on you. Better line of sight to shoot you and kill you. No idea where that grenade went. Oh, yeah, it went to Hendrix. It's fine by me. I don't really care. Where is he? There he is. Okay, Hendrix actually killed somebody. You can see all those grenades being deflected by my armor. Go ahead and cloak and just run past that guy. The whole point is just to get to the store and do the cutscene, but we'll skip it because this is a guide, so we don't need that. Put him down like an animal. Sorry, that room took a couple of attempts. I was, uh, getting killed by just stupid stuff come on now you got to run through this area and it's a little bit difficult because you keep getting like stunned so you keep getting set back you can't like just sprint the entire thing again no time limit so nothing that you have to be worried about and you just get to this area and then you run and jump in your VTOL. Super easy. And basically, that's it. Done. Uh, so, minus a couple of deaths here and there because of just the game being stupid and the fact that it's unrealistic. Uh, one of the easier, I would say one of the two easiest missions of the entire game to do on realistic and uh yeah i mean i like it it got done really quickly so hopefully you guys enjoy the video you find the guide helpful if you have any questions comments make sure you leave a comment otherwise smash the like button and go ahead and subscribe for more content so thanks for watching